Good morning, Belton High School. I'm Tanner Strive. And I'm Jaden Steinman. And you're watching Cutlass Cut TV, TV News. News. Red Ribbon Week is approaching this October. Miss Gibson shares what SAD is and its incorporation with Red Ribbon Week. Um, SAD is Students Against Destructive Decisions, but many know it as Students Against Drunk Driving. That was changed in 1998. So what we do here at Belton is whatever our students want to do, and we're looking for additional members, but it's to educate our school on the dangers of making poor decisions, including drugs and um, drinking and driving while intoxicated or under the influence and things like that. We also provide alternative activities for things like after prom and after grad. Monday is wear red to kick off that week. Tuesday is neon because we're too bright to do drugs. Wednesday is future day, so dress like whatever your future plans would be. And Thursday is superhero day because we're too busy being superheroes to do drugs. And then Friday, like normal, is a spirit day. So I was trying to get a group of people together and have them impact other people by making better choices and better decisions and not doing destructive things that can impact their life later down the road. Make sure to participate in this year's Red Ribbon Week. With Giovanni Aquindo and Logan Ferrari, I'm Tanner Stripe with Cutlass TV News. Cam Awesome came and gave motivational speeches to all of Miss Everly's classes. One of the stories Isaac Peterson, Andrew Phillips, and Brian Reyes. On Wednesday, Miss Everly brought in Cam Austin to speak to her classes about motivation. I had Mr. Awesome come and talk to my classes today because I think that something that a lot of teens are struggling with is motivation. They don't realize that it's okay to not succeed at something, but it's not okay to give up. They need to keep trying. Just like the old saying, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And I think that that was one of the main focuses of his speech, is that you have to keep trying. Ms. Eberly tells us how Cam Awesome has motivated her. I think he's very motivating and inspiring because you look at him and he is an Olympic qualifying boxer and he used to be overweight and he put the time in and the work in to get to where he needed to be physically and mentally in order to be successful. And that's very motivating to me. Cam Awesome tells us why he came to speak at BHS. I'm here to talk to the students about being the best version of themselves, aka being awesome. Awesome is defined as extremely impressive or to inspire great aspiration. The reason why my name is Mr. Awesome is because that's what I intend to do on, to the world. Uh, also speaking about career choices because that's a big decision and a lot of these kids are moving on to college and that's when they have to make some decisions. And for every time that decision makes messes up and they change their mind, it becomes costly. Cam Austin led to us in on why he started motivational speaking. Of course, want to uh, inspire others, and I would like the world to be a better place. Better is very subjective. I want the world to be the way I want it, and the way I want it would be my definition of better. I want people to be happier, nicer, more pleasant, less evil. Sophomore Connor Doyle shares what he learned from Cam Austin. Um, probably that the only thing that beats will is a stronger will. Be a better person just to be, be the person that everyone wants to be around. That was also one of the things he taught us to be sort of, be positive, be that positive person. That with Isaac Peterson and Brian Reyes, I'm Andrew Phillips with Cutlass TV News. Here's Sam and South Sports Report. I'm Savannah Truitt. I'm Samantha Lavalley. And this is Sam and Sav Sports Report. This past Friday, your varsity football team shot out Oak Park with a score of 42-0. Over the weekend, the Pirates softball team became conference champions but lost in the district tournament to Lee Summit West. Nine BHS softball players were recognized for their all-district team selections and three players were selected to the district tournament team. On Saturday, the boys' cross-country team got third in conference and Bailey Strickland got seventh in all-conference. On Tuesday night, girls volleyball played Platte County and lost in three straight sets. 
Your varsity soccer had a blowout against Winnetonka with a score of 10 to 0. On Wednesday night, Boys Swim defeated Battle and Marshall while falling to Hickman, Rockbridge, Smith, Cotton, and Warrensburg. Their record is now 26 and 14. Thursday night, volleyball played against Winnetonka for their senior night to recognize the four seniors on the team. Don't forget to support your varsity football team tonight at Grandview at 7 p.m. Tune in next time for Sam and South Sports Report. <laughs> Thanks for watching Bell High School. Make sure to tune in next week. And as always, Carpe, Carpe Diem. Diem.